All right, so I got a message here uh, from YouTube, well, on YouTube. Hi, I must say I find your work inspiring, and I admire you so much for it. I wanted to share my dilemma with you, hoping you could shed some light. Uh, being a gay man, I have encountered several problems, not only with other people, but in the personal. People around me are very religious and heterosexual. Although they do not discriminate, I do feel this overwhelming tension on my sexuality, where it is always being put to the test by them, and ultimately myself. The thing is, sometimes acting effeminate alleviates the toll on me because people cannot visualize an effeminate uh, guy with a woman. Now, let me preface, really, every, any kind of relationship advice I ever give is I, I'm really the last person you should be asking um, uh, for on any kind of relationship advice, really. But, you know, if you, if you challenge yourself to... Um, listening to my advice, I, I would say I have basically two principles is for relationships to be worthwhile, they must be honest, okay? I mean, you can't have a relationship without without honesty. I, I mean close relationships, you know, you don't have to tell your dentist your deepest, darkest secrets. Um, but if you're going to have a close relationship with family, uh, with lovers, you know, that kind of stuff, I would say eh, honesty would be nice. Uh, so when you say that you, I do feel this overwhelming tension and it is always being put to the test by them, your sexuality. Well, you know, can you talk to your family about it? You know, that would be honest. So you would say, well, you know, I feel this overwhelming tension around my sexuality. Uh, I feel, you know, it's the elephant in the room that nobody wants to address or whatever your case may be. Uh, it's being put to the test, you know, why is it being put to the test, why, you know, uh, and, and just at least open up the discussion to where you, you, just, you just let people know what your feelings are, and then they could maybe explain, or whatever. That's always good advice, or whatever. Um, now, if you, you're, if you feel a kind of anxiety about even just talking about being overwhelmed with them, then that's sort of an answer that you're not really comfortable around them. And again, you can talk about that as well. Like I, I, I'm, I'm overwhelmed about even bringing up this topic that I'm overwhelmed, you know? And if, if let's say they give bad responses back, they don't, they belittle you, they minimize your feelings. Um, you know, you just feel worse talking about it with them and it doesn't lead to any kind of resolution. Um, I have, the principle too would be, you know, relationships are voluntary. You don't have to be around nasty people. And obviously, I mean, you can't figure this out in, in one talk with them or one talk with people. But ultimately, if you're not satisfied in any sort of relationship, you don't have to be around them. I mean, if we're talking about something like a supermarket or a store and the people don't treat you right there, it's voluntary. You don't have to be back there again. And I would say the same thing, if it applies to the neighborhood gas station, it certainly applies to families, uh, to boyfriends, etc. If, if you can't be honest with them, and, well, supposing you want honesty in your relationship, I mean, I, I'm presuming you do, I'm presuming most good people want honesty in their relationship, and if you can't get it, um, then, then you don't actually have to be around them. You don't have to be around them. Relationships are completely voluntary. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, as I said, uh, you're crazy for taking any advice I have to say. But, you know, if, if there's any other details or, or whatnot, you know, uh, let me know.